Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to the channel and uh, first off apologies for the total lack again <laughs> of, uh, of of content um, obviously last time when I left here I was going on a holiday went had a nice nice uh, long week away up in the lakes with uh, with my wife and um, it was really nice to, to, to relax and get away from it all so so yeah apologies about the lack of content um, I've got to be honest I've literally done you know, I've done nothing <laughs> since the last video um, I've, I've realized that this the springs are a bit worn on it I realized I think this will have to be sent away to be reinspected sent away to helix um, to be reinspected and re relined by the looks of things so I'm um, gonna start making inquiries on that um, um, and again I haven't I've cleaned these um, again it's a small job and obviously I need to give this a quick clean and uh, like I said uh, paint this uh, gearbox um, end cap uh, paint that black um, the only thing I've done really um, and I'll show you at the end of this short update is um, there's been a, a fairly substantial uh, update recently to um, to the uh, kind of the AI side of uh, my uh, photo editing suite, uh, I I use PowerDirector three six five, and the main the main reason I use it it's straightforward. Um, I don't want anything posh. I want I want things to be uh, you know I want to edit the videos as quickly and efficiently as I can, so I don't spend hours and hours and hours behind um, the computer screen editing stuff out, and in or whatever else. So uh, it's a really good program. I think it's like 60, 60 quid a year. It's really, really cheap. Um, but uh, the main thing with that was it, it was the only program really that run, that ran, or runs, um, smoothly on on the laptop and on my aging HP uh, laptop. Um, but there's some news on that front. Um, with a big message flashing up on the screen of my laptop the other day saying that uh, you know Windows 11 is is coming in at a rate of knots, isn't it? And with uh, the lack of um, software support next year for for well it ends this time next year, doesn't it? Um, December next year for Windows 10, my the, my laptop's days are is numbered. Um, so for the first time in in absolute well in in well over ten years, I've, I've I've actually bought um, a desktop computer. Um, there's, there's two reasons for that, obviously. To get a computer that will last me, you know, five or six years. And the one I've ordered should do quite uh, quite easily because it's a fairly substantial specification machine. A uh, really good spec. Um, and then the second reason to that is, obviously, I can... Um, I've recently bought... Um, the Logitech G29 steering wheel stuff. Currently using them. I'm currently using them on um, on a PlayStation 5. I'm borrowing that off my off from my son at the minute while he's waiting for GTA 6 to turn up, which he will do at some point this decade, I guess. Um, and um, so I can get back into um, a new in. Via the PC, get back into um, the simming to race, race, not quite racing, not like I used to in R Factor. And R Factor, um, used to love R Factor, um, especially the Touring Car Legends series, uh, the Rallycross Legends series, are amazing. Um, but yeah, I can I can do two things with the with the PC. Um, obviously, I can get back into driving because obviously I've got the manual stick and everything for this, so I can use the uh, the old school. Touring cars, super touring, uh, Mira, which is I, I absolutely love it. Um, I can actually as well with the recent purchase of an X fifty six Hotas. Um, it's hands on throttle and stick. I can um, get back to to doing some flight simulation. So uh, yeah, I've got a bit of a rig up in the back here. I'll, I'll, I'll issue a video about at, at some point showing the driving rig. Um, and the flight sim, the, the the flight sim rig as well. But anyway, um, I digress. So the the intention is, um, 
I've got a pretty heavy week next week. I've got a couple of tests. I'm, I'm off to the hospital and um, it's been a long awaited test really. It's been obviously a legacy of, of the stroke. So um, I'm off to um, the cardiology unit this week in the local hospital. Um, so I'm going to have, uh, what do you call it? Um, an echo, echo cardio, cardio echo scan of my, of my heart. So it's like a real, real time um, scan of, of how everything's working in there. Hopefully everybody, everything will be all right. Got to be honest, I'm kind of bricking myself a little bit. Hopefully they won't find anything. Um, I've also been quite heavily back into my running the last two weeks as well. So I've, you know, the fatigue has, has kind of receded quite a lot now. So I'm feeling a lot better myself um, in terms of energy levels and stuff. Still kind of struggling on... on in a lot of ways with anxiety um but so yeah i'm gonna get i'm gonna have two 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 things on on the, this week on thursday um uh, first things to scan and then i'm gonna be fitted with a 24-hour ecg because obviously they need to check things and it they're being assured it's kind of it's what they do after somebody has has a stroke so um i hope to god this, they don't find anything um quite frankly i'm i am shitting it <laughs> with regards to that I know there's a lot of people going through a lot a lot worse than, than I am. Um, I feel okay in myself. I go out running, no issues, no chest pains, no sweatiness, no clamming, and none, none of that, none of the bad stuff. So, so yeah, it's like, I want to get this week out of the way. Hopefully, all the boxes tick, no issues, so I can fucking carry on with my life, really, um, after the, the nightmare that's been the last, last few months in terms of the stroke thing. So, um... Yeah, apologies and and thanks as ever for for your support, for uh, for staying staying put as a subscriber. And I've just um, I've noticed as well. By the way, I'm up to nine hundred and four subscribers now. So so we broke the nine hundred um, barrier um, last week. So that's absolutely brilliant. Well chuffed. So if you know anybody who'd be interested in the channel, please please um, share, um, give it give it a like and subscribe um so yeah uh just i yeah i apologize it, it, it's a bit of a nothing video again but it's 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 busy and it's not not ideal so a lot of routines have gone out the window and stuff like that so yeah it, it is i hate to say this phrase i keep hearing it everywhere but it, it is where it is um so thanks very much um the plan is week after next to get stuck into this these these last few bits get um get them sorted out and this week um i'm looking i am looking at getting the engine <laughs> sent to thurston because if because if i don't uh if i do at least i can get it down there they can have a look the lads can, the guys can have a look down in thurston um and uh and, and tell me at least you know what i'm looking at what i need to replace or well, hopefully not very much other than and piston rings and shell bearings and and uh and having the engine honed and reassembled um but yeah it's still there it's sat there doing nothing because i've been a lazy lazy bastard but uh but anyway so so that is the plan for this week now i'll update you uh in in week after next as to how things have gone um as per as ever thank you very much for watching stay safe take care look after yourselves and i'll see you again soon enjoy the little video